A secret war is being waged, not on battlefields, but in the heart of a buzzing kingdom. We're talking about Tasmania. Watch this story to see what researchers are doing to save the Australian island's bee population. A tiny island, a big bee problem, and a solution that sounds straight out of science fiction. A ban on importing bee products into Tasmania has pushed Australia's largest pollinator to accelerate the use of new technology, including artificial insemination. The company says the aim is to protect the island's 6,000 bee colonies against future diseases, including the varroa mite threat. We are using an insemination device on, and the camera, and uh, we already collected the semen this morning from the drones, and we are inseminating the queens with about uh, eight microliters each. A type of deadly parasite, varroa mites can severely weaken and kill honey bee colonies. This is what led Australia to ban bee product imports. The ban aims to prevent or slow the mites spread and safeguard Australia's bee industry. Many experts believe this new breeding initiative could be Tasmania's strongest line of defence. If it arrives in Tasmania, it's going to cost uh, the business that I manage $300,000 uh, annually. With the parasitic mite spreading to Australia's New South Wales and Victoria, the experiment's success is critical for Tasmania. 